Oops. <laughs> Am I back? Are we here? Thank you, Ella. I just wanted to fix his camera. I'm so sorry. I'll put Rio on and we'll get to the reaction. <laughs> so the first part will just be a catch-up video. There, we don't have to timestamp. How about that? I did it on purpose. I did it on purpose. Um, now I have to re-invite Rio. It's Rio's fault. And yes, Ella, I was sitting here talking to myself before I noticed. Of course. Oh, give me a second. <laughs> what a dingbat. I'm not with it right now. That's okay. That's okay. It's galloping senility. Now, now though I have to go over to YouTube. Oh, this gets complicated. Because I need, because now I have the old chat over here. Just give me a little second. I'll be all, I'm almost with you. Oh my gosh. Look at no thumbnail. Let me put the thumbnail. <laughs> you guys are so patient. Oh, bless your hearts. <coughs> Oh, now I'm going to do that. I don't like that orange thumbnail. You know what I mean? Rio's coming back. Oh, no, he's gone now. Oh. I'm doing all this work to get him there, and he's gone. Ah. <sighs> I'm still looking for my chat. One second, please. Un momento, por favor. Oh, look, there it is. You pop right out of there, you crazy chat. Pop out. And you come over here. Okay, we're back in business now. So, Amberlyn Reed. Yeah, boring. Rio, where did you go? Oh, he's back under the blanket. He's back under the blanket. Look at, we're gonna fix all of this in one fell swoop. there. Hi. There. Now you can see the litter box in the hall. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. I really like this mic up here. I'm really glad you can hear me okay because <coughs> I can do all the things. Now he leaves. What an asshole. Why would you leave now? Dink. Now he went and sat on the stool. He's such an ass, you guys. Rio, what are you doing? Come back. <gasps> okay, well, enough Rio. Rachel has pleurisy again, and you're miserable two weeks after strep pneumonia and now pleurisy. Rachel, stop that. That's no good. Yeah, Rio's being a dink. Come here, Mr. Boo. Come on back. There you go. There he is. There he Oh, you're so soft. Did you get extra soft today? <gasps> 
Someone put on a soft coat today. They're extra soft today. Yes, my bulb. He's a silly bull. Oh, nobody can see your silly face. All right. So, Amberlynn uh, did a video two days ago, and it's entitled, How I Feel About My Exes, Monthly Weight Update, and Huge Trader Joe's Haul. Now, you know how I feel about a grocery haul. Feels like a busman's holiday to me. It's like putting away the produce order at a shift at work. I'm not big on grocery hauls, unless you have some interesting food. Like maybe if you went to an ethnic market of some sort and wanted to show me something that is unique and I've never seen before, then I'd be interested. But I don't really care to see your, what are those things called? Meat stick. <laughs> Jerky. <laughs> I don't care to see your meat stick again. <laughs> Yeah, I don't need her to flash broccoli at me and tell me how much she loves broccoli. Yeah, okay, you're 500 pounds. You really must really love broccoli. So, you know, we're going to zip over that. We've got two Amberlynn Reed videos to look at, and I would really like to get to the Whitaker stuff. Now, that said, there may have to be a bathroom break involved here. If we're going to go a little longer than normal, might have to be. Just saying. Ella, thank you for your member chat for 14 months. Since it's a new stream, reminder, thank you, Ella, live chat, because I didn't have mine on. I didn't have mine on. Oh, you know what else I probably didn't do is uh, set the... the thing <laughs> I didn't set the thing to subscribers or whatever if you have some issues let me know I'm just gonna let it go I'm sure we're okay so as everyone know as Amber Lynn's uh, living alone hanging out with her mom playing bingo and uh, destiny the one that got away got married actually legally married to her girlfriend. Becky has got a new girl. Very publicly announced pictures of the new girl. Everybody's real happy. There's even been rumors that Fled has a new girl, although, you know, we can't really prove or disprove that one. And Amber, well, Amber's just, you know, chewing on meat sticks. <laughs> But she's completely, of course, unbothered. She's the most unbothered person on the face of the earth. Ingeborg, thank you for gifting five members. That's very kind of you. If you're in our Discord, Ing Ing Ingeborg and Asper, her puppy dog, they're very sweet, you know. You know, I can't be too bad if somebody, like, as sweet as Ingeborg, Still hangs around, even though I'm a little rough around the edges, because she's like real sweet. <laughs> Ingeborg, like real sweet. Okay, what are we doing? We're sharing the screen. Let's share that screen. How do you feel about your exes, Amber? Why don't you tell us? Hi, Aaliyah. Nice to see you. Hi, Labrat. I feel like it's been a really long time since Labrat was here. Viren, thank you for gifting five members. Look at Labrat shows up and gets gifted a member. Crystal might be engaged too. Cameron Momenga is telling us Crystal might be engaged. Oh, I put her here, but I didn't put her here. Here she. Oh gosh, Amber. Let's see which one's better. Maybe that one. So this is the video from 
Dos dias. Two days ago. Um, thank you, Aaliyah. You guys and your member gifting. You be gifting members like cray cray. Oh, I want to talk a little bit more about Dolly. Um, Angels of the Amazon and the kids and stuff. Because we're going to do that. <gasps> LeBrat rescued a cat today. That's amazing. Amazing. Yeah, she might look like she's lost some weight. Welcome to a new vlog. I know I have not been uploading lately. You know, she doesn't look... Uh, I mean, she's looked bigger to me for sure, but I'm telling you, this girl doesn't look healthy to me. She just doesn't look healthy. My bad. I'll do better. It's just like in the past, especially when I've done like daily vlogging or daily uploading, I would just say and film any little thing, but I just like don't do that now. But y'all have been asking for more content, so I need to figure out like, how am I going to make Yeah, girl, any content. She has got to really be struggling here because she knows she doesn't. Lainey, thank you for gifting five members, Lainey. Lainey Bobaney. Um, she's too low. Well, yeah, because, well, that's because I don't have her turned up very loud. <laughs> Maybe if I turn her up, you can hear her. I don't know why the volume on YouTube always does that. I don't turn the... I turn my volume down on my speaker. I leave everything on full. I don't know why it does that. Make more content for you. Is this better? Because y'all want it. So I want to give it to you guys. Anyways, I'm actually about to do my hair and do my. She wants to give it to you. I want to give it to you. Um, she's got to really, like I was saying, she's got to really be on the run because. She knows she's got no content. She knows she can't. Yeah, I had her on HD for the thumbnail. She knows she can't just keep filming bingo dauber over and over again. That's not content. Even she knows that. She doesn't make enough money to buy anything, so she's not doing any real hauls except for day-to-day -day groceries that she buys, which doesn't really count as a haul in my opinion. She doesn't do the toward hauls that she used to do. She has no side characters. She has no roommates. She has no friends. She has no girlfriend. She has zero content. Like, I know when I'm filming a vlog, it drives me crazy because I'm thinking, I am so, my life is so boring. I don't know how people do daily vlogs. I really don't. I guess you got to have a, a bigger ego and think you're more interesting because holy cow. Felicia, thank you for gifting five memories. Okay. Hi. Holy I'm macro. Ready, and I just filmed a couple TikToks. Oh I'm trying to do like daily Q and A's on Instagram as well, just to like correspond more with my audience. And plus you guys always have so many questions and I don't mind answering them. By the way, I took my nails off because one fell off. And that is the first time that's happened since I got them, started getting them done months ago. But it just like came off. And my brain said, I'm not fixing to have nine nails. Okay, I don't have nails. As you, you can see, I, cu I literally cut my nails. Like, it, I, they get to a point where it's like, oh, my God, they're bothering me so much. I have to cut them. Um, but I've heard a lot of people say she shouldn't be pulling off her own nails. I don't get nail. I don't know anything about nails. But you nail girlies will know. Is that not recommended to rip off? I mean, just the thought of it bothers me. I can almost feel it. I can almost feel it. Else and one missing. So I just took them all off. I'm not sure when I'm getting them done again, but I think I have an it's idea bad. what I'm going to do. Actually, I'm debating between two colors. I can't decide. Went to Trader Joe's. So I'm going to do a haul when I get home. Okay, guys. So I just got home. I went to. Oh, Cameron. Thank you. Cameron says, I don't know how to gift members, but I wanted to be in on the fun. Thank you, Cameron. That's very kind of you. Cameron Mamanga. Teresa Renteria and Vanessa Atalanta. <laughs> my two names that I like. My two this month. I'll say this month my two favorite names. Although Bunny Milk. Bunny Milk is a really good name too. Bunny Milk GP says she ripped off some layers both times. I'm surprised they put 
in new ones the first time. Oh, okay. You'd love it if she tried try to durian? She's not going to ever do anything like a durian fruit. Trader Joe's. So we definitely have some hauling to do. So do you think I should make Paige eat a durian fruit in Peru? I bet you they have them in Peru. Pretty sure I've seen them in Costa Rica. They must have them in Peru. Let's make Paige eat a durian for a vlog. <laughs> I know they're yummy, but they don't smell yummy. Hey, hey, now. Oh, that's okay. You can scratch. That's okay. It's okay. You can scratch that. But you should come back here. People like to look at your face. Come here. This is like a grocery haul moment. It was actually the first time that I have been in Trader Joe's here in Oklahoma, and I loved it. It was in like the cutest little spot. Genuinely, it was giving such good vibes. So let's start with the first bag. I just got some eggs because I like to have eggs. The grocery store gave her good vibes, you guys. She was vibing in the grocery store. Yeah, okay, let's see. Amber gets eggs. I don't go there often, but when I do, it's like I, I stock up on like the things that I really like from there. No, you don't. You go where your mummy goes, okay? You don't you don't choose where to go. You don't choose where to shop. Your mummy calls you. You, you call your mummy every single day, and you say, Mummy, what are you doing today, mummy? And mummy says, I have to go to Trader Joe's. And she goes, okay, mummy, come pick me up, mummy. I'll go to Trader Joe's today too, mummy. Maybe we can go to the bingo later. That. I got some of these sour cream. Oh, yeah, it's all I snacks, talk right? About, like, the things that I really like Let's just there. do this. It doesn't even matter. I'm counting calories, losing weight, and that's all that matters. So I got these snacky clusters. It's sea salt, potato chips, corn chip dippers, mini pretzel nuggets mixed in milk chocolate. So excited to try Next. that. I got some of these sour cream and onion flavored rings, lentil and rice snacks. Next. I got some olives. This is stuffed olives. It's garlic and jalapeno. Salt. I needed some soy sauce. So I hope I like the soy sauce because they didn't have like my favorite brand of soy sauce, which is totally fine. And then I really wanted like a pasta sauce, which they didn't have what I normally have because Trader Joe's doesn't have stuff like that. There is a pasta sauce that I have been having, but I decided I'm going to try something different. This is a spicy pasta Sugar, sauce. Salt. So excited to try it, that. All right. On to the second bag. I got some of their mashed potatoes, which I love. Carbs. I got two things of vegetable panin curry with jasmine rice. I also love these. I love literally everything Process. that I got, honestly. Um, I never had this. Which I'm sure I will love it. Cheese filled fiocchetti with pink sauce. I know that I'm pronouncing that wrong, so come for me, come Carbs. for me. I already know what's happening. Um, I also got Sugar. some Brussels sprouts. I got two things of the spicy jalapeno One chicken vegetable. sausage. I got a bag of the chicken gyoza stickers. Love. I'm Carbs. Mm, chef's kiss. Got a thing of some chana masala. I've never had this. I have had it from like uh, Indian restaurants, but I've never tried it from there, so I'm excited to try it. I got some peppered salami. salami. Okay, who thinks Amber really likes chana masala? Come on. I can't see Amber eating chana masala. I don't think she's a big fan of chickpeas. Does she even ever eat hummus? Like, it's all sodium and carbs and processed food, everything. And of course, the token broccoli, the token vegetable. Can be triggering for me, but I'm hoping I have a high dark petal and, and I tears. I know to just never buy these again. So yeah, and then also got some ground turkey. All right, so the final bag here. I got some of these rice cracker medleys. It's a mix of baked rice crackers flavored with soy sauce, salt, and vinegar, and chili with spicy green peas. I personally love stuff like this, so yum. And then I got some. No, you don't. Rice nuggets. You don't love shit like that because if you did, you would buy it all the time, and you don't. You don't buy rice crackers. I've never seen you snacking on wasabi peas. Like, you don't eat this shit, so just stop saying shit that just everything comes out of your mouth. And these are spicy. I'm excited to try those. I just got some broccoli here, some pulled pork tamales. I like making these in the air fryer. Did she just pull broccoli out of two different bags? She already showed us broccoli. Right? Did she not show us broccoli? We just discussed the token broccoli. Now she pulled out more broccoli. It's just mini chicken tacos. I got some Thai vegetable gyoza. If you guys remember, then you know. Did that make sense? I got two of these mac and cheeses, which I really like. And then I got some of these salami sticks. More dumplings? Like, didn't she just pull dumplings out of the other bag? This is like the same bag of food almost. Oh, one was Brussels sprouts. Thank you, guys. One was Brussels sprouts. Amber's going to cook Brussels sprouts? Oh, that's going to be terrible. 
them, which is six of them. Um, this is what it looks like. I was like, okay, I want to try those. I got some of these turkey meatballs. Why do you buy six of them if you're trying it for the first time? What if you don't like it? Why are you sitting over there? Sit here. Come and sit here. Come on. Come on. Right? Do you guys, when you're trying something for the first time, do you buy them like multiples of it? Oh, I've never eaten that before. I better buy 12. Also, you guys know me you know. I went through a phase where I was obsessed with those. Marigold. Little, and then last thing I got are these buffalo. Thank you for the super chat. Marigold says veggie gorly pop. Here he is. Here he is. Look who's back. Back again. He goes back. Style chicken poppers. Cool. So now I just put everything away. So I'm gonna go do yeah, that. Yeah. Okay, guys. So real quickly, I'm gonna do a monthly update on how much weight I lost in March because I did it in January where I lost seven pounds. I did it in February where I lost nine point two pounds. And now March, how much did I lose? So I actually weighed in today at four eighty nine point six. So that means in the month of March, I lost exactly ten pounds, which I'm very very proud of. And I noticed I'm losing more and more weight each month. So it'd be cool if in April I lose ten point two or more than that. So that could be like a super challenge. Let's hope that I even remember that I said that. But I'm just very proud of myself. Like I doing the damn thing i'm not stressing like too hard about it i think with the lack of like i think i said this in the rage stream like amber why would you want to you, you know amber we god forbid you stress too much about it you're a woman who's looking at middle age square in the eyes and you weigh a quarter ton at five foot two i think you should be stressing about this when I was like 30, 40 pounds overweight, my doctor had me feeling like I was going to drop dead any minute if I didn't lose weight. I don't know why you don't get any urgency. There's no sense of urgency. I don't understand that. Stressing about it because normally like if I'm counting calories, I want to be like perfect and I want to eat the right things. Realistically, like it's not going to happen. Like you guys saw my haul today. As long as I stay below my calories right now, that is all that I'm focused on. And I know eventually down the road, I'm gonna have to start eating healthier and switching things up that way. But right now what I'm doing is working for me and I'm just really happy about it. Okay guys, so I did take off my shirt. Don't mind that. So I opened these. I was about to try them. We I don't need to know. I want to do it for the vlog because what the heck is this? Do it for the plot. I'm not watching her taste test shit. We don't care. Okay. She likes something. It's 10 out of 10. I've been asking me about this and i finally got it i'm kind of okay like here's where she talks about the plaque um people were asking her how long it took her to get her youtube plaque i guess because they're trying to clock foodie because foodie just got one and apparently she bought subs or something i don't know what i'm not i don't know i don't follow that world whether that's true or not i don't know so she's trying to i guess back up foodie here and she's showing us an old, old clip, and she does include the whole clip. It's very long, talking about how impressed she is by herself, how impressive she is because she got herself that plaque. And yeah, I agree with you guys. She looks a lot bigger here. But look, here's where it, where's where it starts. 6.20 it starts, and this clip goes for over a minute. Over two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes of a 13-minute vlog is an old clip. I have, like, 220K. Like, what are you guys doing? You guys are amazing. Okay. Let's try these, though. Nobody's doing anything, Amber. You're buying those subs. Let's face it. Let's be real. Oh, Lilby says she was bigger, but she wasn't using filters then either. That's interesting. I'm a little nervous. It's not like okay, you're a moron. You're not nervous about eating a cracker, please. If you're nervous about eating a cracker, you need to re-examine what you're doing with your goddamn life. Stop it. Don't be so look at this stupid face. I'm gonna try those. You guys, I have had an absolute influx of people contacting me about my exes. One has a new girlfriend, one is married. People are assuming I am single, which I get it. People are also assuming I'm jealous and bitter. Literally, no. I want both of them to be happy. No, I want them don't. to move on from me and the relationships that we've had. And Maybe. they definitely have. And I've also done the same thing. I am keeping things from you guys. Um, I do have a love life, though. I very much do. I have talked about Valentine a little bit. I just want to do things a little bit differently this time. You know. Jace, thank you for the super chat. Jace would like you all to please stay hydrated. And if you're not already, please get some water. Thank you. Thank you, Jace, for the public service announcement. Oh, 
Valentine a little bit. I just want to do things a little bit different this time. You know, not just like bombard you guys right off the bat mm. this time. You know, not just I'm jealous and bitter. Literally, no. I want both of them to be happy. I want them to move on from me and the relationships that we've had. And Maybe. they definitely have. And I've also done the same thing. I am keeping things from you guys. Um, I do have a love life. Though. How do you have a love life if you haven't met the person yet? How do you have a love life through text? Now, I am not saying you cannot develop emotions for people that you haven't ever met. I've done it myself. I have fallen in love with people that I've never met before. I know you can spend a lot of time talking with people online and video cam and stuff like that. I get it. It's 2024. Even an ancient old crone like myself understands that. But I don't think I would call it a love life. I just wouldn't. It's just not a love life until you're in each other's presence. Oh, I very much do. I have talked about Valentine's At least once. I get long distance relationships too. But the whole point of a long distance relationship is you're always pining for that time. It's always just killing time for in between when you're seeing the other person, right? And a little bit. I just want to do things a little bit differently this time. You know, not just like bombard you guys right off the bat. Like, hi, you know, I have a new love interest. Like I have talked about her and it was before my ex got a girlfriend. It was before my ex got married because I'm over there on Instagram. Like, yeah, I do have, you know, a little love life going. And yes, I am actively in love right now. And the reason why I'm not talking about that in my videos and like bombarding you guys with that is because I do want to do things differently because so much in the past, I've just like word vomited it up. all my relationship stuff. And like with Feline, I very much learned how to be more like, Hi, Jace. And I'm not saying that this relationship is... Jace, don't work too hard. Work just hard enough. She's actively in love. Sophie, thank you for the super chat. Sophie C. With her little super sticker. It doesn't... It show, it's a super sticker. I can see it in one chat, not the other. That's your first super on a live stream. Thank you, Sophie. Sophie C. She's not passively in love, Lainey. She's actively in love. Come on, makes sense. It's gonna stay private. It's just very much, I wanna just like give you guys a little bit at a time because I'm still figuring out my stuff. Like this is still new for me. Just know that I'm very happy and I'm also happy for my exes. I'm not some like jealous, bitter, crazy ex. Like that's literally not going- That girl that everybody thought it was, Lexi or Alexis or whatever the hell her name was, the one that used to have a girlfriend but then now is single, apparently she shut down all her social media. Because she was get, I would imagine she was getting bombarded with crap. So, is it that girl? Is there a girl? Is there anyone? Is it real? Is it not real? I think. I think. You know what I think? I think we need to do a little pullment. And I'm gonna word it this way just to. Because I like to bother Val sometimes. There's a little Pullman. See, you know how I told you they make fun of my, my typos? Here's the other thing I do. Whenever I type Amber's name, now you're all going to know. And you're going to see it in titles sometimes. Um, I always... I capitalize the A and the M. I don't know why. It's always capital, like like I did in that Pullman question. Every time. Every time. Yeah. I know a lot of people like to assume that they know me and who I am and how I feel and how I react to things, but like y'all aren't right. And I don't mean that like in a negative way, but yeah, like we're all thriving in our own way. And I think that like, y'all, I've moved on. I just, I want you guys to do the same. We are all our own separate individuals living our own separate lives. And I just really, truly think it's time. Just let me be me. And I no longer want to be like Destiny's ex or Becky's ex. Like I'm just not wanting that. Like I am. Nobody has ever called you that. Nobody in the history of YouTube has ever only referred to you. You know what? Yeah. For a little while, people were calling you Becky's ex, but that's because you were such a runt and you deserved that. And people were trying to prop her up. But generally speaking, nobody refers to you as Destiny's ex. Destiny probably gets sick of being referred to as Amber Lynn's ex. It's not, you're the notorious one that people don't want to be associated with, not the other way around. I'm at such a different space in my life, different era, just 
who I am as a person is just so different. I feel like I've lived multiple lifetimes, especially here on YouTube. Like, go look. I just, I have transformed constantly and I just feel like I'm at my most like independent, happy, true self. And I'm no, enjoying I think, learning more no, about No, I think you're just, you're just full of shit as you always are. That's what I think. What I think is going on here is I will give her props because any human being that gets to their 30s, we would hope matures a little bit. And I think what we've seen here is real, real maturity and growth, for lack of a better word. She's not the same as she was with destiny. She's just not. You're not. I'm not. I wasn't the same at 18 as I was at 33. Nobody is. So she has gotten a little bit smarter. Now, that natural progression coupled with her meeting wifey, who put the hammer down on that shit, pushed her learning a little further into not exposing everything to YouTube. She's learned some, it's taken her a long time, but I think she actually has learned to shut her stupid mouth a little bit, right? Good for her, bad for the channel, because we don't care about your bingo dauber, which is what she's now left with, which is why she's scrambling for content, because all her content before was kind of based on taking advantage of other people or, or situations, right? And now she has no other people or situations to take advantage of. It's just her now. It's just her. Like, there are things that I definitely need to improve on, though. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I really need to see a therapist for my borderline personality disorder. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I thought I was better in that regard. Like, it's not something that, like, you can just like heal from instantly no it takes years and years and years of like therapy but i thought that i saw improvement in myself and like a situation happened recently where i'm just like whoa girly pop needs to go to therapy and that's something i can definitely like when didn't you have to go to therapy why is that a revelation to you you never should have stopped therapy why is it a revelation oh girly pop's gotta go to therapy no you big turd you never should have stopped you have a myriad of mental diseases that you claim and embrace and use and exploit. And the single thing you won't do is go to therapy? This isn't a revelation, Amber. Good Lord. Like, admit out loud. <laughs> Court like, sprout. I need help. And I personally have never gone to therapist. therapy for a borderline personality disorder. I yes, Jan, she hasn't put a single friggin' photo on that wall. She hasn't decorate. All she's done is decorate the shelf with her perfume. Recently went to therapy and I had like over 22 visits with the same psychologist who I loved. She helped me tremendously, but I wasn't seeing her for borderline personality disorder, like as a whole. And now I need to find a therapist who specializes in that. And I am a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. So I'm totally just rambling right now, but yeah, I'm, you guys, I have my own life over here, not sharing everything. One day I will, but like, I just want to take things slow and just do things different, but just know that I am happy. And I'm also happy for my exes. Like I am capable of feeling that way as much as some people I don't know. Let's see where we stand on the pollment. Oh my goodness, surprisingly, only 10% of the crowd think Amber Lynn's Valentine is real. Of 139 votes, you know, H3 gets thousands of votes on a poll. <laughs> um, yeah, no one believes that. No one believes you, Bambi. Okay, and I gotta tell you, that was the exciting one of the two videos of Amber's that we're looking at tonight. That was the exciting one. Which is why I titled this live stream, Is Amber Done? Or whatever the hell I called it. <laughs> I don't remember. Because uh, that was the exciting one. What do you think? <laughs> Cameron says, Merck, don't talk about her therapist. People will accuse you of doxing. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Remember when she did scratch art? Kind of miss the scratch art now. Kind of. You know, pining for some plasticine. 
It's insane how... She doesn't do anything, guys. What is she going to do? What the hell is she going to do? Can I not... There used to be a thing where I could do a thing here. Um... <laughs> this is why I think she might be done, because I don't think she's got a lot left to do here. Or talk about or say, like, you can't... You know that expression, and this has nothing to do with her weight, you can't make a silk, silk purse out of a sow's ear? Like, she doesn't even know how to edit well enough to turn her content into content that would be interesting. Because I'm telling you, a very talented editor with a great soundtrack can turn a nothing video into something watchable. This, unfortunately, is not Amber Lynn. And Rio has had enough. He's gone to bury his little head under the blanket now. You want to go hide now? Oh, okay, never mind. So this second one isn't going to take us long because it's even more boring and it's mostly just Amber eating. And you know I don't care about that. There are a few things she said, though, that I we watched it in the Discord uh, this afternoon. I don't really remember much of it. I was farting around while it was on. Sorry, I'm just looking at this. Oh, I was just wondering why I got po why I got pinged in the Discord. It's because I just uploaded it because of my mistake in restarting the stream. So never mind, everything's cool. Just wanted to make sure that one of my mods wasn't saying, "Hey, Merck, your banking information is showing again." Maybe you don't want to show that. So this video came out today, this afternoon, fresh off the presses, to you from me. Elle is laughing because it's usually her that DMs me and goes, Merck, your social insurance number doesn't really need to be on the screen. Yeah, the hairstyle's a lot, too, isn't it? I'm not a big fan of the hairstyle. But, you know, I've had some bad hairstyles, so who am I to critique the hairstyle? It's a little juvenile, I find. Merck is uh, actually my my uh, government name. <laughs> my, my government name is Mercury. I'm lying to you. I like this mic over here. Okay, let's see what she's got to say now with her little hair. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So today I'm going to be filming a what I ate today video. So my goal usually is to stay below 2,000 calories. But what has been helping me <laughs> personally from overeating or just giving up in general, instead of like having a standard cheat day where normally in the past I would allow myself to literally eat everything under the sun that I Oh, she's quiet again? Watch, I bet. See, look, because it's the volume. Why would the volume be down? We just turned it up. Thank you for letting me know. And that would spiral me for weeks, and I could not get back on track. <laughs> so what I do Lainey? Lainey just doxed me. Mercury McMurkson. I told you that in confidence. In case there was some emergency, you didn't have to go blab it everywhere. Now, instead, which I've done twice already, and it has worked great because I have not messed up on my diet. I am still losing weight, and I'm feeling really, really good. So what I've been doing is allowing myself to have, like... You know what I find interesting? Ever since the uh, Foodie, Foodie Beauty uh, YouTube plaque scandal, all of a sudden, her YouTube plaque is front and center now. And, like, we never used to see it in every shot. Like, she never even used to have it up at all, but all of a sudden now it's a very important thing to have on her shelf. <laughs> My real name is not Mercury, I lied. 
my own version of a cheat day. And what that means, I'm giving myself like a different calorie limit. So I want to stay below 2,500. So usually by doing that, I don't lose weight the next day. I usually stay the same, but this has helped me so much with staying on track. So that is my goal for today. Stay below 2,500. This is my version of like a cheat day. If I did not allow myself to do this and I constantly thought about how bad I wanted to oh, eat, like why is she on the this or that. Is she or... on normal speed? Cause I can't even listen to this, this is ridiculous. Let's go. Let's go, Amber. Extra things. That is when I binge. Pick that it up. That is when I overeat. Just that pick is up my the spiral pace. for weeks on end. So I found like a perfect compromise in the middle and I figured today would be a really good day. To yes, you guys. stop doxing me. Like, so none of my meals are going to make sense. I'm not having like a standard breakfast today. I will be eating processed foods. I will be eating on camera. It's just like tons of disclaimers, but I'm just getting you guys ready for what you're about to see. I can safely say that I have not been on track this consecutively in years. It has been years. That's why I feel safe to show you guys like what I'm eating because I'm in the right head frame, mindset, whatever it may be. Just know that whatever you guys see me eat today is a vast improvement to like my standard way of eating and what made me at 1.572 pounds. All right, let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna have, which I cannot pronounce, is cheese filled. Why does she talk like she's already won? Like she she's doing it again. Head frame, mindset, I know. She didn't say mind frame this time. You know, she's going to tell us about how it was because she once got up so high. Like, she just, I hate it when she starts the preaching thing. Like, she's already accomplished something. You haven't. Oh, and here's something that bothered me of this little segment is, you know what you don't use to fry? You know what you don't use to fry food? Extra virgin olive oil. You big dummy. It's got a very low smoke point. If you turn, and she, as we know famously only cooks on 15 or whatever the hell a red hot heat which means she's gonna burn that olive oil and it's gonna be bitter extra virgin olive oil and that Bertoli specifically I have the same bottle in my fridge that is a very distinctly flavored very olivey flavored olive oil very strong in flavor it's what you use in a salad dressing, or you drizzle it onto roasted vegetables or maybe onto a pizza or something. You add that. You don't cook with extra, you cook with regular olive oil, but not extra virgin. And she's going to cook with it. And I think she doesn't like the food. Fiocchetti with pink sauce. So it says on the back of the bag, um, for stove top to use some oil. So I'm gonna be measuring the oil, um, oil, using about half of a serving, which would be about 7.5 milliliters. So I'm gonna be cooking this in a pan. Okay, so I have half a serving of oil and this is how it looks frozen. Okay, you guys, so I'm finished and I cook this down a lot. Look at the oil, like like, look at the color of that oil. That is definitely extra virgin olive oil that's been cooked. And I would guess by that color, that's overheated, which means it's gonna be bitter for sure a lot because i like my food to be cooked so a lot of the oil that was already oh. originally god she's so unique you guys she likes her food to be cooked and the sauce and plus the oil that i added is like still in the pan but regardless this is 930 calories so on a day where i was trying to stick below 2000 i would not be eating this and if i did choose to do so i'd probably only have like half a serving with like a ton of broccoli or something Okay, so really quickly, let's why not put stuff. broccoli in it now if you love broccoli so much? Why not put broccoli in it now? Broccoli is your favorite thing in the damn world to stick in your mouth. Why wouldn't you add it into that pasta dish? Jan, I don't keep all oils in the fridge. I do keep the I keep the all extra virgin olive oil because in the heat it can go rancid. I don't use it very quickly, so it's going to sit around for a long time. The problem is it solidifies in the fridge, so if you're going to use it, you got to take it out and let it sit for a while. But regular oil, like regular veg oil or whatever, I just keep in the cupboard because I go through it a little quicker. That's good. No, she edited that. Look, at, there's a jump cut, so we couldn't see her face when she was tasting it. Watch. And if I did choose to do so, I'd probably what? only have like half a serving with like a ton of broccoli or something. Okay, so really quickly, let's do a taste test. Watch. That's good. She cut that. She hated it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to easily give this like an 8.5 out of 10. I'm going to go eat this. She hated it. Oh, I need a drink. No, she hated Hold it. On. 
So I'm going to be having a water and a it tastes diet terrible. green tea Lipton mixed berry. It tastes like bitter burnt olive oil for sure. So for sure. I always shake the tea before I uh, drink it because there's usually just like some stuff down there. You guys, I'm not going to lie to you, but I cannot eat any more of this. I'm not, not used good. to eating things like this anymore. It's just like very rich. It's delicious. You know what? I would even go so far as to say that I bet she dumped half of that shit out in the garbage and now she's going to use it as a win because she didn't eat the whole bowl. I know that's really a big stretch, but that's just where my mind went. Also known as Heather Joy. Thank you for the super chats. Heather Joy says, hope everyone has an awesome weekend. Thank you, Heather. You too. Ingeborg says, how warm can the room be before EVOO gets sad? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Ingeborg. Like once... Like, if the room's warm, that's okay. It's just if it sits for a long time. It should be in a cool, dark place. You know what? I'm going to say right now, I just looked at the clock, and it's, we've already been live for over an hour and a half. So we're not going to do the Whitakers today. But I got a whole bunch of time to make up for, so maybe we'll do it tomorrow or Monday. I promise you. We'll do another live. Maybe tomorrow night. Why not? Tomorrow's musical Sunday. What if we did a live stream at like four or something on Sunday afternoon? Eastern Standard Time. I don't mind. It's just that I'm getting hungry. I'm going to need to. And I keep thinking about those fish and chips. And now she's eating food. It's all a lot. We'll do one tomorrow. We'll do completely just. Let's do a cozy Sunday stream. Thank you, Ella. And uh, we'll do the Whitakers. And that way I can. I, I can put it all together a little better. Like I said, I already made notes. These are Whitaker notes. I'm going to put her on for a second while I grab my phone because I'm going to order those fish and chips while we watch Amber because she's made me hungry now. You're going to have to listen to her for a second. Or do you want me to put just Rio on? I Now I have to pee. I never do that. But I'm going to pee. I say I never do that, but I do do it once in a while. Doo-doo. <laughs> it's not doo-doo. Do you want me to take her off and just put him on here? Okay. But I'm going to mute this one. Because you don't need to hear anything. I'll be right back. Well, that didn't work at all. <laughs> that didn't work at all. All right. So Amber is talking to us about the pasta that she has in it. <coughs> Hang on, now I'm going to mute again. Definitely an 8.5 out of 10, but she just can't really eat it. You know, she's just, she's only little.
Muted, sorry. I know, I know, I know. I know I'm mute. I was muted. I'm sorry. I won't accidentally end the stream again this time. I'm not pranking you. I'm not very bright. <laughs> a primary vet. No, Amber, it's just a vet. And an emergency vet. A primary vet. No, no, no. Oh my God, guys, can we just say, uh, can everybody throw some hearts in our chat for PH Jess, who's here? And um, I won't go into details, but Jess had some medical issues this week that scared the crap out of us. And I got to tell you, Jess, we were all worried, okay? We've been thinking about you, all of our thoughts, and I'm not going to say prayers, but, you know, whatever rocks your boat. And Jess popped in today, finally, in the rage stream of all places and said, although they're still at the hospital, they're okay and they're coming home soon. So, oh my God, Jess, we're so fucking happy. We were worried about you. For realsies. Look at the chat, Jess. Now I'm going to get all choked up again. <laughs> I have four minutes left to order from this place. The place that I need to get the fish from. Four minutes. You, I got to pause this because this is important. It's important. It's important that I get this halibut. Halibut and chips. Here we go. Yeah, baby. Greek salad. Side of gravy. Choice of sides. Plus 350 for french fries? Shut up, really? But I want the carbs. Maybe that's additional sides because it's fish and chips and it comes with salad. Okay, I'm going to get the gravy and that's it. I don't need a bottle of Pinot Grigio, but thanks for asking. Let's go. Four minutes. Let's add that to the cart, baby. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Greek salad, side of gravy. Let's go. Continue. Are you with me? Are you enjoying this? H3 does this. They're, they're big. They, they do this. Okay, we're going to halibut and chips with gravy. Oh, my God. The discount is 420 Fate. I got a 420 discount. Three minutes left. Oh, that kitchen's going to hate me. <laughs> Sorry, chef. <laughs> Do it, do it, do it. Oh, order placed. What if they message me and go, sorry, couldn't do it. Okay, I think we're good. It says preparing your order. Arrives between 8.01 and 8.13. I'm so excited. These are so many carbs. Guys, can you tell me, because I don't believe I've ever heard of this. Do you have to sign a DNR for a cat at the vets? Is this a real thing? I got to look it up. I got to look it up. It does say, I've, I see it here. Okay. Mm 
You can't see what. Oh no, I did it again. I did it again. I'm back, right? See what happens? I take three days off. I forget how to stream. I'm back, right? <laughs> Thank you. I didn't disconnect it this time. I just put I just put a thing in the way like that. <laughs> I just because I was looking at this. I was looking at DNRs for pets. Yeah, I'm hungry and I had some days off. Cameron, thank you. Cameron, I can't, uh, you slid by, so I can't find it to put it up. But Cameron, uh, thank you for the super chat for the French fries. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> okay, now share this tab instead. Let's close that tab. Rachel's off to bed. Well, you're not going to miss much, Rachel. We're just, she's going to yap about broccoli for a while. You signed a DNR. Yeah, they do exist. Apparently they do. I didn't think they did. Like that. And I'm like, oh, yes. And then I told my mom, actually, when we were leaving, I was like, I have met a lot of subscribers, like easily over a hundred, like easily. None of them has met Twinkie besides one. So yeah, she was just super sweet and she loved Twinkie so much. And she was just so kind and helpful. In case you missed it, the vet was a subscriber and a big fan. Guys, come on. Every time she goes out in Oklahoma, she meets another fan and she's met a hundred of them. Not a single one of them has posted a picture or a video, made a comment, ever. And every time she goes out, Rio, what are you doing? Rio? He's laying on the floor up to his armpit with under the closet door digging at something. Like, every time she goes out now, she meets a fan. Like, I know I don't have the subscriber she has. But I've never, ever, even ever met a single human that knew me, which is fine. But every single time she leaves the house, even the vet? Rio, stop! Come here. Come here, Bobo. Can you come here, please? Can you just stop whatever it is you're doing? Come on. Sorry, he's a going concern. I know she's a big celebrity. Who am I to say? Oh yeah, Twinkie's doing amazing. Okay, so the next thing I'm having is a serving of these rice cakes, which is 30 grams. Sorry to have that measured. You actually get a lot for a serving, not gonna lie. And then I will be having six of these olives. One of them is 25 calories. Then I'm just having one pack. This pack, I just have it opened. It's just some salami sticks, which look like that. They're actually super good. Okay, so last minute, I decided to just have four olives because I realized that they're pretty big. They're stuffed with garlic and jalapeno. So for this plate, it does come out to 350 calories. What are these round things? What are those round things? Do you guys know? What are these round things here? Are they crackers? Those are the rice crackers? Okay. And so what are the sticks? <laughs> what are those stick things? Cheesies? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Garlic and jalapeno. So for this plate, it does come out to 350 calories. Honestly, this salami, I know it looks weird, but it's the best texture and it tastes so good. And you really do get a lot of these little thingies. And you guys know that I love a bro Ahmed says, waiting for your order. It takes a few minutes. No worries, Ahmed. You'll get here when you get here. I don't want Ahmed to stress about the fish. Oh, 
we don't want Ahmed to, to you know, Ahmed's there. He's waiting. He's going to get that fish as soon as it's out of the fryer right over here. It's good. It's all good, Ahmed. Relax. All right. So next Ahmed's thing I'm the, having oh. are two of these pulled pork tamales. It's three forty for one of them. Okay. So six hundred and eighty for two, which so far I've had one thousand nine hundred and sixty calories today. All right. So here it is finished. So let's do a taste test. I'm hoping that it's good. I do love me a tamale. I should take a picture of the chat and send it to yep. him. Yeah. <laughs> these look horrible, by the way. That might be a ten out of ten for me. I do she love Tio. You guys. I don't think she liked this either. My dog's torment. <laughs> I don't think she liked this food either. And now she's going to call it Tapatio Tap. And that really... S <laughs> I'm just warning you. Because it's not good. Get ready. Here we go. That might be a 10 out of 10 for me. She doesn't I do like love Tapatio. That. You guys know me. Like, Tapatio Girly Pop. So, I do want to try it with Tap. A lot of people ask why I like Tapatio so much. I actually grew up with it. I have just used it as my go-to hot No, I got to try it with Tap. I'm trying it at the top. Hey, can I get some catch for my French fries? You don't have to shorten everything. Tap. Tap it to you. What if it's sriracha? Can I get some sriracha? I was literally like eight years old. I did have a sriracha era, but I love tap to you. Yep. So we're about to. Oh, yeah. She doesn't like it. <laughs> So with this, I'm just having a mini can of Sprite Zero. So she had a bad food day, okay, because we know she hated that pasta, and she didn't like those pulled pork things. She poured that shit all over it and then never showed us her taking another bite. She didn't like that food. Oh. Amber, we've seen you eat, girl. We know when you like food and when you don't. Oh, look, it says reduced guilt, so she thinks it's healthy. Okay, so the next thing I'm having is this Trader Joe's mac and cheese. It is only 270 calories. Yeah, we don't So care. I have had this before, so open the microwave and enjoy. This one is so freaking good. Stop eating, girl. Oh, I am so tired. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, my gosh. I took my melatonin, which this is the best. It's the brand Ollie. It's the Sleep. I just get it from Target. I'm sure you can get it anywhere, but I'm so tired. Wow. And I forgot to end this vlog. I had about 2,200 calories today. So now, you guys tell me this too, because I do not use melatonin. Now, I know that Joan was on melatonin. And from what I understood from what the doctor told me, melatonin is not like a sleeping pill. You don't take it and fall asleep that night quicker because you took your melatonin. It's like a natural thing and it takes a little while. You have to be on it for a couple weeks, a month before it starts kicking in. And that's what I was told. But whenever she speaks about melatonin, she talks about it like it's an instant sleeping pill. And I've never heard anybody talk about it like that before. I don't know. I figure I'm so full of toxins from all the THC. <laughs> melatonin probably wouldn't work for me. But I fall asleep real quick anyway. Like, I think I average about seven minutes. What did I do last night? Do you use that sleep thing? The sleep app? We all use the sleep app. Let's see. Last night? I fell asleep seven minutes. So yeah, it's about average for me. I wouldn't need melatonin, but sadly still here. 420 says I was prescribed a melatonin pill and had to take it for two weeks before it did something. That's exactly like the one that my mom had. It was prescribed as well. Rachel says, no, it worked for me right off the bat. Shiny Magpie says it's an instant sleeping pill for me. Okay, well, this is really interesting. So I guess it really works for some of you guys, but really doesn't work for others of us. Melatonin makes me have weird dreams, Kathy says. Jasmine says it works quickly for them. Yeah, he's just not going to shut up now. <gasps> you know why? Because I didn't feed him at five o'clock. We'll do a real mukbang to end the show. Okay, that's interesting. It's really interesting because you guys are either like, it's really hit or miss. Cool. It makes sense that it would be because it's not, it's natural, right? Interesting. Anyway, let's let her finish. So I definitely that. was successful in staying under my 2,500. And by doing that, I allowed myself to have some of the foods that I probably wouldn't have had. 
if I was eating like a healthier day, which is when I stay below 2000. So it's been working for me. And I think that's all that matters. You know, there was a moment today where I was like, damn, I won't take out so bad, but I ignored it. Oh so this is where the cheat day ends and I'm getting back to below 2000 calories tomorrow. And if you guys did make it this far, here's a secret weigh in. I weighed in today at 488.0. So it is the lowest that I have weighed in a hot minute. And yeah, I'm just like really proud of myself and I just want to keep it up. Obviously, I'm not doing perfect by no means, but I think I made a lot of improvement and Any I have to grow and be better. But I'm about to take off this hair makeup. I'm about to shower. I'm about to put my hair up and then I'm about to go to bed. Oh, lie, 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 lie. You're not going to take off your makeup. You're not going to have a shower. You're probably just going to lay your mighty bulk down on the couch and fall asleep. Amber, sleep now. Uh, Ember, wake up now and vlog with yesterday's makeup. Okay, real. Listen, this is serious. Your supper's late. Your supper's late. Oh my gosh, are you going to die? Are you okay, Rio? Are you okay? Oh, bless his heart. He's going in the bedroom. I know, little boy. He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. I've been feeding him in the bedroom, on the bed, because um, I was told that might help stop the peeing problem, which it seems to have. So he ran right in there to eat. Come on, your food's here. I got your food here. Dasher is still waiting for the order. Yes, it's ocean white fish entree with tomato. That's weird. Well, it doesn't look too tomato. -y. All right. My little man, a little mukbang to end our little show. Right? Oh, you can't hear him, but that's okay. Yeah, I still have them on the dry food. That's the pH balance stuff for Super Latero 767. Thank you for the super chat with the planes. The planes. Very excited about the planes. The rescue cat is watching. Hi, Labrat's rescue cat. I gotta go feed Bailey now, too. Can you hear him? I can hear him. He's eating loud. He doesn't always finish it, but I feel like he might. <laughs> Chance is much more interesting. I think he would definitely say 10 out of 10 recommend for this one. Amber's watching. Yeah, I forgot that she kind of, I guess she does watch me. No, because she, I just can't with that woman. I can't with that woman. That's what she said about me. I can't with that woman. Rio, what do you rate this food? Looks like a 10 out of 10. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now it says, Golden Diner is preparing your order, assigning Dasher soon? What happened to Ahmed? Ahmed, what the fuck? What happened to Ahmed? Ahmed let me down. We called him the goat. This is actual ASMR. Are you done? Oh, Gurpreet is stepping in. Gurpreet, 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 Gurp. Fuck Ahmed, fuck Ahmed, Gurpreet, Gurpreet. <laughs> oh, well, I think this looks like a 10 out of 10. This plate is practically cleaned. 
comment knows about the political rally. I think they're done. I think it was a Palestine, pro-Palestine. I don't care what it was. It was just noisy. All right, are you done? Can I put this down now? All right, I've had enough. It's so stinky. It's so stinky. Oh, Lainey, thank you for the super chat. Oh, Lainey, thank you for the very generous super chat. Lainey says, I love a real mukbang. Sushi and sashimi say hi, Rio. Did you hear that? Sushi and sashimi say hi. And Labrat's got a new rescue cat, and they're watching you eat. All the cats are watching you, Rio. Oh, so soft. I don't know why he's so soft today. All right. I don't know why he's so soft today, but, you know, I got to get ready because Gapreet's on his way soon. I'm so excited to have fish and chips. Thank you all for being a bad influence. Thank you all for joining me tonight and being so patient with me this week. I can't say that it's going to change. I think things might still be a little up in the air sometimes. Uh, but we will do a live stream tomorrow for sure to cover this Whitaker stuff. Because I really want to. Don't you want to? Do you want to? Real will be there too. Real will be there too. Uh, no, it wasn't skip the dishes. I used DoorDash tonight. I used DoorDash tonight. Look at this 8 o'clock. See? Merck's chilled. Imagine when I get more chilled. We'll have so much time. Yeah, the Whitaker uh, soft white underbelly Tyler Oliveri story is quite interesting, so I can't wait to cover that tomorrow. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe if you're not already subscribed or grab a channel membership because, oh my gosh, no one has more fun than we do. Um, I'm sorry about the weird starting and stopping. Yeah, what can I say? Ish happens, right? I can't wait to eat, and I can't wait to hop in the Discord, and we'll watch something at 9 o'clock. I don't know what. We'll figure it out. We always do. Until we meet again tomorrow at 4 o'clock, uh, why don't you just try and be kind? And hasta luego. Thanks for joining me. Bye.